Welcome to the narrowboat that James built. This is Project 58, a narrowboat that I've had for exactly one week. And in that time, I've managed to basically take out all the stuff from the inside and chuck it all in a skip. So I've taken it from this to this. It does look a little bit better. There is a lot still to do. Uh, floors, ceilings, and all the kitchen and bathroom need to come out. The engine has gone from this sad state to this. And it all looks pretty good. And she turns. So... It's full steam ahead. Okay, so my first task today is to empty the water tank. Uh, I think it's 675 litres, so, and I think it's pretty much full. I need to empty it because I need to basically shimmy it up. It's dropped down a little bit. Um, and then I also need to empty it because I need to flush it through a few times. If it's got water in there, it's been stagnant, it's been sitting there. So I need to flush the system through. 675 litres. I've just asked Ralph, what does he want me to do with it? He said, just dump it all in the yard. So I've now got to get myself some kind of hose attachment, unless I can find more of that piping uh, down here, connect it up, put the pipe through the well deck, basically just drain it all. Right, the slow patrol, I don't use this stuff. I'm using, uh, I use John Guest. I think this is called like hip 20 or something, hip 20, or something like that. Anyway, so I don't really know how it works, but it's all pretty straightforward, isn't it? So uh, I'm gonna take off some of these bits around here and that bit out there, and then see if I can fashion something to chuck it outside. I've got a water pump somewhere, here it is. So, and I've got some batteries under there. So I might have the bits I need to drain this. Right, I need an elbow, so let's see. Right. No. Uh -huh. There's one, there's one there. Well, there's a few here. Right, I can disconnect all of this. Don't think I'm gonna be retaining that sink. So, yeah, let's get rid of that stuff. Right, I've taken up that bit of skirting over there. This wall's not in very good shape it wasn't it was in very good shape before i took the skirting off settled in better there well, that's not looking too bright is it right okay uh well i can look at that whilst i'm draining the tank right i've had to use the old pump some of the old piping uh and a battery some rather ugly connections but it's bloody slow there's nothing coming out oh god that's gonna take a while i don't think that is working very very well um it's on that battery there um so this is kind of a bit of a test for the water pump but it is barely pumping anything i've got two hoses that's just some of the hoses that kind of came with it doesn't sound very good does it right but today i need to crack on in here excuse the space or lack of this is oh there's a weird smell here this is the bathroom what have we got here a shower okay uh stuff in it still uh what else have we got we've got the cupboard there which has been emptied the cupboard down there which has been emptied uh, oh, weird. Um, a basin, which is not very nice, and plastic. Uh, that rather ugly top. This cupboard here. Uh, cassette toilet. Cassette toilet. That can probably stay. I don't think that's been used. I don't think I'm going to go for a cassette, but anyway. Uh, that, yeah. I'm not going to chuck that out just yet, anyway. Right. Pump's doing bugger all. Right, let's crack on with the bathroom. Hey gone. There we go. Now, I didn't do that. That's just another example of ceiling issue in boat. But I do like the tongue and groove. You guys were all right. Hmm. Right. That mirror, when Florrie came in to see the boat, she said, oh, 
The best bit's that mirror. I was like, what? Right, okay. Uh, what am I going to do with that toilet? I'm not going to go for one of them because I know what the L sand points are like around here. I know how few and far between they are. I know how rarely I cruise. So that's going to go. I don't think it's ever been used. It kind of rotates, doesn't it? I don't really know what these things think. Yeah, it kind of rotates. Where's the thing? So you kind of sit on it like that. Oh, that's a weird angle. I don't know. Oh, that bloody thing. Right, that's not for me. Right, that can go. Right, how do I get rid of this thing? Ah, oh, right, it's all secured in the back here. Right. Door can go out of the way. Oh, God, there's loads of bits. Right, what's that? Oh, that uh, yeah, that has been used. Yeah, that has been used. Okay, gloves on, let's get rid of this. Right, I managed to find couple of screws down here on the base. This is not easy. There we go. Right. Right, those two are out. There's two more here at the back. Right, I'm going to tell myself, oh, the wrong way. I'm going to tell myself that is a factory spillage or some kind of glue. I found my gloves, but they're outside in the soaking wet. And it's like this, I've got no idea what left and right is. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I was tight there. No, I'm not. What am I doing? Lifty Lucy. situation on the slowest ever tank empty is it's still going amazingly and it's getting empty air water's down to there now excellent it's actually bloody working and it's kind of cleaning my well deck right back to the toilet there we go What's that then? There's a turn that off. Uh, so that's water for flushing. Um, so my well, water's all disconnected, so I can get rid of that thing. And then 12 volt. What does that come into? Uh, 12 volt comes in here into a chocolate box. Nice. All right, let's get rid of this. Right, that's better. Oh, that sodding thing. Um, oh, I've got to smash all these tiles off now. I don't really fancy that. I'll see if I can retain that delightful shiny gold trim. Um, right, what next? Get that out. Ow, blimey, this is narrow. Right, let's get rid of it. Right, I'm taking this, trying to take this wall down because then it'll make it easier to kind of do bits. Oh, that bloody thing. Right, how's that come off? Gone. That 
little patangy thing. Right. Where to next? off with you. Right. How's that fixed in there? Looks like little screws. There's a half used bottle of Lynx here if anyone wants it. screws apart from one. Right, that's that done. All right, this is what we're looking like at the minute. Uh, toilet's gone, a few smashed tiles. Uh, all the controls for that, I presume, are there they are. Well, that's a nice little feature, isn't it? All right. Okay. Uh, towels and stuff. I thought I emptied all this. Nice curtain material. Hot water bottle. Bit of crap. All right. Quite a lot of crap. Oh, there's a gas line there. That's going to the cooker. Good that it's accessible. That was smart thinking. Uh, right, let's get rid of these. Get that off the wall. Find out what that switch does. Uh, and start getting rid of it all, basically. I'm still going, it's amazing. Um, right, I've worked out, this is baffled. So basically there's a tank, there's a, you know, a void there and a void down there. So there's like a divide thing in the middle. Anyway, uh, it's still going. Right, I have now got to go. The guy has called and my alternator and starter motor are ready, which is excellent news. Right, I'm here to get my alternator. One. Nicely cleaned up. Happy days. All the ladies just painted it when I phoned up. Mm. So we stood in front of the fire. <laughs> this was a horrible starter. You changed the solenoids on it? Full, absolutely full of water. Really? Yeah, I put newsplates on the floor and pouring out like nothing on us. <laughs> I don't know. I hope we don't get it again. It's very difficult, you see, when you get water in a boat. Yeah. Boats and water don't go together. No. No, I know. Nothing on the boat likes water, it seems. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll try not to submerge this engine again. Yes. It did, did it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, completely submerged. Oh, that's all right then. But the alternator looks all right, do you think? Looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got a new uh, new bearing, new regulator, new regulator, and all the rest of the bits. Yeah. Oh, That's that a looks... new solenoid. Yeah, that looks brilliant. That was full of water. Ah, 
Yeah, it'll look nice when it's sun, won't it? When it's on, won't it? Yeah, it'll look brilliant when it's on. Yeah. Thank you for your yellow paint. <laughs> How often that is. Now I've got to find the same yellow to match the oh, rest of it. I've got to paint the whole engine. <clears throat> You've got a different solenoid. Right. Um, all done by measurement, really. Yeah. Um, they tell you one isn't, and of course it doesn't have a Lucar take as a screw, so you put a Lucar take on it. Fantastic. There you are. Thank you so much. You are an absolute star. Look at that. As good as new. On the way back, I had to pop into this little gem of a place to pick up a few essentials, back to my parents for a quick shower and a change, then back to the boat. Right, I'm using this at the moment because uh, the gas, I don't think is connected. Well, it is connected, but there's no gas in the can. So I'm using that, which works quite well. Right. Rob's on his way over now to help me with this bloody water tank because it doesn't seem to be solid working at all. He's got a spare water pump, so we'll see if that helps. One of the things I have retained from this boat is his sugar. Oh. Dipped it on the floor. Right. Got to crack on with his bathroom before Rob gets here. And then there's no way I'm going to get the boat in presentation mode for Rob's getting here. So I'll just crack on with the bathroom. Come on, I'll show you what I've done. All right, we're getting somewhere. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a build pump switch. Uh, there must be something under there because there's a raised platform there because that's pretty low. So uh, let's rip all this apart and see how this was all put in. Cool, let's get cracking. Maybe multi tool a little bit off that corner there, squeeze it out. Eco flow. Plug in. Turn on. Multi tooling. There we go. Fifty-seven plus one. <laughs> coffee? I can make coffee. Right, I think the tank is now empty because I can actually move it. So it's got to be empty. Um, now, you'll remember I kind of said it's on that angle there. I'm wondering whether some people have said in the comments if it has to be that way because to make the tank work, I don't think that is the case. I think what's happened is either it looks like this batten has been cut out there possibly because that's a bit weird how it ends. 
So I'm not sure if it went straight under there like that one did, or whether thick, forcing that in, the inlet has pushed it down. That's the other alternative. So whether it's been pushed down that way because of that or broken there, but it should not be on the angle like that. So see if I can demount that, take that bit out, bring the tank forward and see if I can have a little inspection. I'll leave Rob to crack on with that. I've got to finish getting that bit out and then kind of understand what all these pipes are. As I said, there was definitely a calorifier in here at one point and obviously rads, but the rads were all done on those white uh, John Guest pipes and that HP 20 or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, there's an awful lot of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, I'm going to take off uh, these Jubilee clips and retain them because these are quite expensive. You need hundreds of them on a boat. Can't find my flathead screwdriver, so just there we go. Keep that and get rid of this. plate mm, little bit moist water looks clear yeah that has fallen down it is not going to be like that Yeah, let's get that out. Quality engineering. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just a platform for the tank to sit on, isn't it? But that's not looking too clever under there. Right, um, we are going to see, we're going to tidy all that rubbish up underneath there, get rid of that polystyrene, and then see if we can get the tank out onto the well deck and flush the tank out, because that'd be quite easy to flush it out using angles rather than pumps. No, that's too big, isn't it? No, it's not, it's perfect. Well, it's probably end of that. Yeah. Not too, not I don't know if I can lift it up either. No, on the side. Yeah, I know, still. Oh, come on, you're not that I feel, I feel that weak. Oh, yeah. Is it draining? Yeah. Oh, result. Right, whilst Rob continues to scrape out the bow, I've got to carry on in here. And I think what I want to do is take out this wall here, uh, certainly that bit, but it's all one piece up to here. There's a line there. So that is the next bit to try to remove. I can't remove that because the bed's on the other side of it and a cabinet up there. I can't remove that one because there's an oven there and a few other bits on the side of that. So this one should be all right. 
Right. Let's. Skip. Oh, yeah. There's still quite a lot that's in there, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, but we've got. Yeah. Piece of steel. Yeah. Good, 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 good. The only thing that you're going to have to look at. Yes. It's the insulation, I know. I know, it's really bad, that is. Right, back to the Vetus. Uh, the alternator and the starter motor have been put back on it. I've come over here because I need to do an modification to the alternator which i know what you're thinking what the hell can i do to modify an alternator um you'll see also it's a slightly different color yellow that is voxel yellow that is vetus yellow but it's going to be on that side of the engine so you're not going to be able to see it that badly now the modification i did was this in permanent marker jason that very kind donation you made to the project has all been attributed to the alternator and your name will live forever on it. Thank you very much, mate. Excuse me, the toilet on the roof. Uh, that is not gonna be a permanent fixture. Um, it's been the end of the week. It's been really good this week. I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's nice having Rob come around today. It's good to have that tank emptied. So yeah, it's all looking pretty good. The skip, uh, Rob remarked that I don't, tidy it very well i didn't pack it very well so as a result it's kind of nearly full but uh, fine bathroom pretty cool kind of empty loads of room work out what i'm doing with that galley haven't even touched it yet right here uh floor so uh taking the ballast out that's all there uh it's drying um load of water came out of the tank into it which uh wasn't kind of hoping for or expecting but it did a bit of a leak um so that's fine didn't quite know we didn't really resolve why our pumps and stuff didn't work on it so we're going to take all this apart and have a look at it think the tank should be fine if it is we'll keep it uh what else are we doing right um uh, hmm. ceiling that is going to go as is the floor getting rid of that because it's only oak laminate it's knackered i'd have to spend months sanding it all back which i don't have the time I don't really want to, it's not good enough. So I'll just bin it and then get some better stuff. Uh, Rob says uh, bamboo is the way that narrow boats are going. Nice green edge to it. Right, I think that is me done. Going back to slow patrol. <sighs> Can't wait. See you tomorrow. Cheers, bye.